In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly size your banner for both desktop and mobile and tell you what elements to include in it. There is a link down below to a free Canva template. You can simply download it and replace my images with yours. And so the first thing I want to say is that YouTube is a bit odd when it comes to banners because they require you to upload this full image, which is 2560 by 1440 pixels. However, on desktop, it will only display this area and on mobile, it will only display this area right here. So just keep that in mind when you're adding in your photos. You want to keep everything within these lines. So what elements should we include in our banner? In this middle section, which will display on mobile, I recommend having a photo of you to humanize a channel, having either your name, your channel name, business name or program name. I chose to include the name of my program and I put the name of my channel off to the side right here just so that the words weren't overcrowded in this section. I also recommend having some type of text to tell people what they can expect from your channel. And so this can be a tagline. I had a subheadline up above. This can also be subcategories. So if your niche can be broken down into different subcategories, this will tell people exactly what they can expect from your channel. It can also be a slogan of some kind. So let's talk about this left area here. As a reminder, this area will not show on mobile. It will only show on desktop. And so some recommendations, if you have any infographics that are relevant to your teachings, that's a really good place to put it. Again, we don't want to overcrowd this area with too many images. You can also type out your social media handles. You can tell people when you post. So if it's, I don't know, every Tuesday at two o'clock, then you can add that in. You can also include your website name. Know that these elements can be included in this middle section, but again, just be careful not to overcrowd this area. And then off to the right right here, I recommend having a call to action that directs people to your links down below. I also recommend having space at the bottom because... Um, on the computer, you can see that this is where your links will display. And so if you include text right here, then people won't be able to actually read what links you displayed. The reason why this is super important is because the banner is one of the first impressions that people will have on your channel. This is especially important if you're someone who's using YouTube to grow your business or your personal brand. And so this is in alignment with step number one of my process, which is clarity. And I also call it setting up the house because think of your YouTube channel like a house. People are going to come to it. They're going to get a first impression and they're going to decide if they want to keep coming back. And they will if you can communicate in these elements here, what value you deliver. And the banner plays a big role in that. Once you have clarity and you build those foundations, then you can ascend this pyramid to eventually create cash and a high level of contribution. If that's something that you want to do, I create a program called the YouTube Business Accelerator. And in the bi-weekly group calls, I will shorten the learning curve around tech and strategy so that you can maximize your growth and revenue even faster. If that sounds interesting to you, there is a a link to an application down below. Once you fill it out, I will contact you within 24 to 48 hours. I'll answer any questions. And if we find out that we are a good fit, then I'll welcome you into the community. And from there, I will help you to ascend this pyramid. So thank you for watching this video. And I look forward to meeting many of you in the YouTube Business Accelerator.